How are you all doing today? I am the Yu-Gi-Oh! Scrub, but as always, you can call me Bailey, and it has been a while since I played some Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not going to bore you with like a long spiel next week. Basically, you know, my days are go to work, come home, make food, go to the gym, repeat for Monday through Friday. That's it. And then you know what Elden Ring came out, and I've been wanting to play that. It's been really not feeling like playing Yu-Gi-Oh, basically. I just don't sit down and go, well, what I want to do right now is play Yu-Gi-Oh for a few hours and record a couple of matches, especially when I, you know, had to record a bunch of them back to back to back to back just to get content for you all. I'll do it when I feel like it, but as of right now, I'm not going to prioritize the channel. Uh, sorry for all of you. I know you like my videos. Um, it's still something I want to do every now and again. I'm going to, you know, maybe try to force myself a little bit to play like a game or two, just so I can at least give you some content on weekends. Who knows? Again, not going to make too many promises, because every time I make a promise, I do feel bad because I didn't let you down. But one of you was asking about this deck. You came into the Discord, and you were curious about this Last Will Toolbox deck. Uh, I basically went into the comment section on my uh, deck with 95% win rate video. We found the 44 whatever card deck list. I did some alterations to the things that uh, I'd want to do. I mean, I did take in some of the things I put in the Bizer Shock, put in Cannon Soldier, Cyberjar. But there's still th some things that I changed, um, and just cards I, like, I'm pretty sure I put in the Spirit Reaper, just because I think it's a pretty good target for Last Will if needed. Uh, yeah, but there you go. Uh, he, you really wanted a side deck. Uh, this is my side deck. By no means is it great. I mean, I have to have my triple Des Wombat. Uh, maybe I could cut, like, a Des Wombat and Cyberstein for, like, two Kaiku, because I also like Kaiku as a side deck card. Uh, I like Tribe in the side, just because I can't get it off of Last Will. Berserk Gorilla, also kind of similar thing. Flip monsters, I have mind control. I like the decrees in the side, and cyber sign. There you go. There's my side deck. Um, if you can't remember who uh, the person who actually, you know, has the uh, deck list whose idea it was to give it to me, if you want to put it in the uh, comment section or Discord, wherever, but give the side deck as well, I know it would be greatly appreciated by uh, the person who was looking for uh, information because they wanted to bring this deck to a local, so they thought it was really cool, and they wanted to uh, build it in real life. So, you obviously don't need to share your side deck, but if, you know, you're pretty casual and you're not super competitive, being like, oh, I need to keep my side deck secret, my precious, precious side deck, how dare anyone, I don't, why am I going to, like, a Scottish accent trying to be, uh, Golem? Golem does not speak Scottish. Though, you know, I guess Lord of the Rings was a, kind of supposed to be, like, a fantasy take on England, uh, so maybe Golem is Scottish. That's my logic there. All right. Without any further ado, also, as always, if you feel like it, you can go and support me on the TCG Player affiliate link, which will be in the description. You can also, uh, you know, subscribe, join the Discord, all that great jazz. It's been a while. Oh, also need to click this. And is my mic recording? Okay, it is. <laughs> I've been really upset because I just talked for a good, like, two minutes and uh, would have felt bad if I had to re-record that. Waiting in the pool. I prefer the ocean over the pool. Actually, that's a lie. I don't even know why I said that. I prefer pool over the ocean. Uh, frankly, because I don't like sharks. And I know people are like, oh, you're more likely to get struck by lightning than a shark attack. I don't actually know if that's true. But, you know, people are like, it's so unlikely. That... I don't care. All I know is the more I read and the warmer water uh, gets, more sharks are coming to where I'm from. And uh, I don't know. I, maybe it's like I saw Jaws when I was little. But just something about, like, the vastness of the ocean. I can kind of, like, you know, go in, like, a few feet. Um, and I even know that's where the shark attacks happen. Oh, also, the guy said I should take Delinquent Duo out. Well, I kept it in. Um, but just something about, like, deep water. Once I can't see the bottom or, like, feel it, like, I don't know. It just is so much could be around me. And, like, humans are not meant to be in that ocean. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start with a Delinquent Duo. Uh, because it's zombies, it could have, like, the Despair from the Dark, which would really suck. But, I mean, Pyramid Turtle doesn't often run that. Okay, Spirit Reaper. And what else do I hit? Berserk Gorilla. Okay, kind of interesting. Um. Let's go ahead and activate Graceful now. Kwakagiri Panda, Pot Agreed, Cannon Soldier. Um, okay, I could Cannon Soldier... I think I'm going to get rid of the panda and the creature swap at the moment. Because creature swap taking pyramid turtle would kind of suck. I was going to see maybe I could uh, tribute over it. But I don't think I'm going to need to do that. Pot agreed now. 
Okay, and that's why I wanted to uh, keep it. Let's now activate brain control. Take its pyramid turtle to grave for Jinjo and hit for 24. Um, I don't think I need to set anything right now. Next turn I have Last Will Cannon Soldier and Sangan is always just a great card to have. I didn't do my opening hand. Okay, he summons Kaiku and Creature Swap. Okay. I'm okay with that, I suppose. No, I'll take 600. Um, unfortunately, because the cannon soldier is in hand, I'm unable to... Uh, that might be a bad idea, because Nobleman a cross out exists. If he does have knock, that would kind of suck, because it would just get rid of my Sangan. Okay, so he has a pyramid, or not pyramid turtle, a giant rat. Um, from here, I think getting the exiled force is better. And then I'll take 1,400 from the giant rat. Um, okay. So, let us, I think, start by activating heavy. Just in case that's something, because I'm going to pop the Jin's, Jinjo with Exile Forth. Okay, call the Haunted. Couldn't activate it. Uh, now let's go ahead and summon Exiled Force. Last Will. Pop the Jinjo. And then from here, summon... I think summon... DD Warrior Lady. Yeah, it's 1500 or less attack. I just don't want him getting the effect. I could have also maybe summoned my own giant rat. And then I'll set. Eh, I'll keep the econ in hand. I don't think he's going to be able to put up that much damage. Okay, goes right back to me. Um. Let's just set the Sinister Serpent. Kind of want to keep Cannon Soldier in hand in case I draw another last will. That could be kind of important. Scapegoat, okay. Um, I'm just going to flip someone and start poking. And I'm actually going to normal summon in main phase 2. Declare and tribute the Sinister Serpent. That's a decent amount of damage. Decree. Okay. I'm fine with that. Oh, I can't do much about this. I'll take 400. Of course, I'll be able to get rid of my Sinister Serpent now. Um, draw a Nobleman to cross out, so True Nade, Econ, Knock is my hand. Summon two, four Goat Tokens, two which will get destroyed immediately. I am left with two Goat Tokens. Um... Next, I shall activate Econ, take a Kaiku.
and just go do battle. Hit the tomato, he takes 400, I will banish, I think, both zombies from the grave. He gets Sangan. Give him back the Kaiku and end my turn after setting the Spirit Reaper. Tribute to the Doomed. Alright, that kind of sucks. Hopefully I can get a nice draw this next turn. Fusilier Dragon is probably not enough, but I can at least get rid of the Sangan. Excuse me. Got tiny burps. Set one and end. Not like, I mean, it's kind of a bluff, I suppose. Summons a Pyramid Turtle. It's probably going to... Okay, Creature Swap. Yeah, no, that's game. Alright. So... I think Tribe Infecting Virus definitely needs to come in. Uh, decrees don't do too much. Because um, he's running Decree. I'm going to take out Magic Cylinder. Um, what else does good? I think Berserk Gorilla to get over the Kaikus. Let's take out Duo and he didn't knock is good, but he didn't really set many things. Um, I think I'm gonna take out the Mystic Swords in level two. Or maybe the panda. Well, I would actually have to put something else in. I don't even know what I'd want to put in, so let's just take that. Taking out Cylinder because if he's running Decree, I don't feel like Cylinder is a great card. Alright, we got... Let's just run out the Berserk Gorilla. Get him normal summoned. I was thinking about setting the Sinister Serpent, but I'd rather just keep that in case I need it. Maybe the TT plus Berserk Gorilla is not really the play. Okay. In this case, it's actually okay. He hits the... United We Stand... I'll get rid of Sinister Serpent. Breaker. That's fine. See, I feel like I probably either should have set the TT. Is he going to have Book of Life? That book, that's really strong. Nothing I can really do about that. This is 4,000 damage right off the bat. Enemy controller. Yeah, I think he's like just got this. I mean, I can't do anything. Um, let's just set the econ and end. If the person who will put this deck list in, like, I always love when you guys will like, tell me the plays I could have done. Um, I'll eat 1600 and then activate Econ and just swap that to defense. Take a quick sip of collagen. Activate knock. Normal summon Mataza the Zapper. Activate Last Will. Attack. Eat 300. To Grave. Um, K 
can I summon? I think I have to summon... Panda goes up to not enough. I think I summoned the Spirit Reaper. Just to keep myself alive. This is why I like Spirit Reaper in the deck in OK. I mean, all right, you guys are going to get another one because I didn't like that. I want to win for like the first time I'm coming back in a while. I need to win. A hard, ruthless win where I send my opponent to the Shadow Realm for all of eternity. You know what, I'm also going to live, make one more change. Let's take out the duo and put in the tribe. Um, he would probably have me take out the Spirit Reaper. He liked two Mataza the Zapper. Um, I don't know if I like the Giant Rat. It gets like two things. I guess it also gets Exiled Force. He didn't have the Zalug in there. I like, you know, the Zalug and the... Reaper kind of do something similar, and since I took out the Rotas, all right, let's try this. Um, what else do I want to put in the side deck? Um, I feel like that guy had a really favorable matchup. Let's do the Kaikus I was talking about. All right. There you go. Live edits, see if this does any better. Oh, and look at that. Finds a match right away. Oh, no. Uh, guys, what did I do? There you go. <laughs> Click the wrong button. Uh, sir, prank kids do not belong in GOAT format. Can you please stop? Uh, neither does the, was this, Rescue Ferret? Is that the one? Oh, whoa, hey! <laughs> Got Sangan, Scapegoat, Tribe, Call, Mataza, Creature Swap. Summon the Scapegoat and set to go. Summon the Sangan, set to the goat. And he's playing Royal Magical Library FTK. This is just my luck, guys. Gotta love it, right? Do I even bother sitting through this? Um. I don't know if I bother sitting through this. Like, really, do you guys want to see this right now? I'm literally just going to admit defeat. Quit. I'm sorry. I don't really want to face that right now. I don't care about my rating enough to sit through someone playing solitaire. I get it, you know, you're going through the ladder, but just I don't want to watch you add counters and just play against yourself and then quit when you don't get Exodia turn one. Or your, you know, magical explosion. I don't even know what the hell it is. Uh, no, it's, was it Black Pendant with Reversal Quiz? Is that the way it goes in? Goat format. I can't even remember how the OTK works. Watch me get the same. Okay, it's not the same dude, luckily. My rating is so low right now, because I guess it must have reset recently. Yeah, what the new ban list came out. Shows you how long I haven't played for. Alright, Tribe. Last Will, Hand of Nephthys, Snatch Deal, Heavy Storm, Sinister Serpent. Um, Do I just pro-set the heavy? I just pro-set the heavy. Tribe plus Serpent is too good to uh, waste on something. Okay. You know, he'll hit me for 18. Um, I think I just go with the... Thousand Eyes are strict. Again, I, I'm sure that there are better plays I could be making, but I think this is fine. Heavy's also kind of nice with Thousand Eyes Restrict, so if he summons another monster, I can just Heavy. There we go. And then take it. Stand by, let's get Sinister Serpent back to hand. Okay, I think I have a play here. Let's Heavy. Declare. 
take his monster, which it was a Knight Assailant. Alright, then normal summon the hand of Nephthys, tribute both for Sacred Phoenix, which we will then attack directly. Um, I could have last willed in theory there, but what, get Mataza the Zapper, and then after that would do nothing. So let's just end there. Actually, no, because I could have then prematured. Mataza would have done 26. Okay, I would not have had game. I don't feel so stupid. <laughs> um... Do I set the Cyber Jar and put him, like, at all more ahead? I think because I can. Let's go ahead and summon the tribe. Um, I think attack with the big thing first in case it's, like, a spy. It's a Sangan. I'm feeling okay because tribe I can bring back with Premature, so I just kind of can get some damage in. He gets a Knight Assailant. And let's just end there. Night Sand tells me he maybe just, you know, needs to be able to pop things. Sets one. Okay, there's a giant true need. Um, do I bring something back? I don't even know if I do. I think I just go to battle and attack with the tribe. Forcing him to pop the sacred phoenix. And end my turn. Maybe I could have last willed, thinking if that Sacred Phoenix, I could go for Mataz of the Zapper. I mean, there's always the, I could have done something, but I don't feel like I need to do anything. I'd rather keep the last will for something really powerful. All right, stand by. Special summon that. All right, Ring of Destruction. I lose Heavy and Tribe. Um, okay, let's just activate Premature. <laughs> Alright, I also, I could have done the Cannon Soldier and just burn him for a thousand by summoning it, but, uh, honestly, I'm kind of happy I did that, because now he doesn't know what else I could be running. Um, what did I see there that I'm afraid of? Honestly, not much. Knight of Sailing. Maybe he's, like, running Chaos Turbo. Let's bring in Kaikus. Um, knock is pretty good. Spirit Reaper is not that great against Chaos Turbo. I don't, I really don't like Cyber Jar. Let's take out, he likes United We Stand. Screw it. Goodbye, Cyber Jar. It's a win more card. Last Will, Fusilier Dragon, Guakagiri Panda, Scapegoat, Brain Control. Um, what do I want to get rid of? I'll give it a brain control. Set the scapegoat and end. Or Geki break the scapegoat. That's fine. Wondering what this face down could be. Draw a giant true need. Let's end again.
summon Sinister Serpent in attack mode. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just summon the Guakagiri Panda and try to hit in for a thousand against the Sinister Serpent. 1500 five. Oh yeah. I mean, I'll take more damage because I'm 18. He's three. I don't know. I was only thinking about 1300. Knight assailant. Okay. That's kind of what I thought it was. Exiled force. Um, I think I would rather let's activate the true nade here. And just summon. I want to make sure I can get this off of the field. And like make it land. Because now he can't set monsters. He has to find a way to get over this, which I mean I'm not gonna say it's too difficult. I mean, I'll take that. Let's uh, just poke in for another 900. I mean, okay, like, Ring of Destruction against a Mystic Swordsman level 2 is not bad. Especially when I have Last Will Exile Force to go with that. Alright, Space, Space Typhoon's Magic Cylinder. I can probably take out Magic Cylinder because it doesn't seem like he's going for big things. Hits me for 1800, banishing my two monsters. Okay, of course, as he banishes, I get the Premature Burial. Activate Last Will. Pryo. And I think I go for... Do I go for Sangan? I think I go for Sangan. I could have gone for, like, Mystic Tomato. That was the other thing I th was thinking. But if that's a Destruction Trap, which he's had a lot of, then I feel like it's kind of pointless. Berserk Gorilla. Alright. Let us go ahead and activate Creature Swap. All right, it was a Sinister Serpent. So he did have the trap that I was fearing. That's fine. I'm gonna, because I have the Sangan, if he does have something like a uh, Torrential Tribute, I feel okay. Mirror Force? Mirror Force would be the biggest punish there. Okay, no Mirror Force. Either Geki breaks the Kaiku away. Could have maybe gotten the Exiled Force. Alright, that's fine. Mystic Tomato. Let's run over my own Sangan now. Getting ourselves. Alright. 
Let's get Sinister Serpent. That's probably his own Sinister Serpent. Thunder Dragon, discard. So he's basically running, like, discard control. Discard chaos. I mean, I haven't seen the turbo. Maybe he's got the... Okay, Dekoichi. So it doesn't kind of seem just like Chaos Turbo. Asura Priest. Snatch, deal. All right, and he's got game here, I think. 17, 14, 14, 28. Yep. All right, game three. So I had the call with the Chaos Control. Um, bringing the Mind Controls. That's really good in this matchup. Uh, take out the Magic Cylinder. I feel like it's just going to be too slow. Mataza the Zapper um, is okay. Bizer Shock is good against set cards. Um, I think I can take out Fusilier Dragon. Because it's really good in my opinion. I don't love it in this uh, deck. I get it's a 7 that works with the Metamorphosis. But for me, I love Fusilier Dragon when I'm going up against, like, you know, a Reasoning Gate deck. Because it just shuts down decks that are looking to, you know, uh, just summon monsters. If you can't set monsters, but in a match like this, I mean, he can just set a Knight Assailant and get rid of my last warrior from another planet. Which is, like, the big level 7 you want to get. Um, let's go ahead and Normal Summon Mystic Tomato. And I suppose I'll just end there. I don't think I need to do anything else right now. Dude, I have Ash Blossom. Don't draw three right away from your graceful charity. I like how hand traps in GOAT format, you know, where things like, oh, if you discard this from my hand, suddenly something happens. Three hits my last will. Um, I will send Call to the Grave. Let's go ahead and creature swap. Let's activate giant true nade. Just because I don't want that to be. Also, let's just see what this is. I know I can't flip it. Okay, it's a magician of faith. So I get. Uh, let's go Mataza the Zapper and Injection Fairy Lily. Alright, that's a whole lot of life points that he just lost right away. And I get a Magician of Faith flip next turn. He gets Kaiku. Yep. I'm going to Carl's. Um, would you do the dog at five? Yep. Sorry, guys, I apologize for that. Uh, I mean, I don't need to apologize. It's just, you know, my life. But, uh, yeah, no, I was home alone recording, and then my sister just came back um, and had to talk to me. Of course, she didn't know I was recording. Regardless, though, I should have had my door closed. Who, know, who cares? But uh, I think that was a pretty good match. Um, I kind of wish I could see what he had at the end there. But, uh, you know, the Magician of Faith, maybe if it would have had to be, like, a Regeki break or something, because he would have had to get rid of the Magician of Faith, because I would have been able to flip the Magician of Faith, get the True Nade, and then I had Snatch Steel and a bunch of other cards in order to, you know, just run through the one monster he had, and uh, win in that scenario. So, uh, I mean, what I will say is, I lost to what in the first match? Zombies. Uh, and Zombies. It's a really good matchup, I think, against this deck. Uh, just It's extremely aggressive. I also definitely didn't play too well. Um, but the Zombie matchup, something as aggressive as that, also kind of made some of my cards dead, like Nobleman of Crossout. I'm trying to think harder. 
uh, what else was dead? Matazza the Zapper basically does nothing because he was running like zombie beatdown with Kaikus as well. And so he just had a lot of big monsters and things that floated. Uh, he wasn't setting anything, so my Mystic Swordsman really did nothing. Uh, my Giant Rat and Mystic Tomato didn't do too much against his uh, bigger monsters. Fusilier Dragon does nothing. Uh, I also didn't have the Berserk Gorilla. You saw me make a couple of changes. But then I beat Chaos Turbo. Uh, and if I can beat Chaos Turbo, that means then suddenly, you know, if you beat Chaos Turbo, it means you are playing the best deck in the format uh, because Chaos Turbo is the best deck in the format. So, you know, like Rock, Paper, Scissors, Rock beats Paper. Well, if you beat Chaos Turbo, it means you're playing clearly the better deck. All right, that is it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I am, again, I don't really care, but like, sorry, I guess, for not uploading in a little bit in a grip uh it's just you know i'm not gonna force myself to upload if i don't feel like playing Yu-Gi-Oh. i'd rather feel like playing and you know want to give you some actual decent content than be like hey guys <sighs> another deck profile here you go yep and uh i can stop rambling now because i've recorded and that's all that matters have a great day and thank you all for watching goodbye